Hello and welcome to the Scripture Takeaway. My name is Peace George. I am your delivery man today. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you're watching me from. Today's topic is waiting on God. Waiting on God. Was there a time when you've had to sit down and just wait? Like everyone should be saying yes right now because you know with COVID-19, we all had to sit at home and just wait, hoping that it would pass sometime soon. But thank God for where we are right now. Now, I for one hate waiting. I hate waiting at the bus stop. I hate waiting for people to come. Waiting is not something I love to find myself doing, okay? But quite unfortunately, waiting is part of life i mean sometimes god even make us wait he makes you wait in the place of prayer there are times god doesn't answer our prayers right away we wait sometimes you get an immediate yes but then there are times when you get a no or you don't even get an answer so you keep waiting oftentimes wait is the answer that we get first of course, you don't want to run ahead of God, but nobody likes to be stagnant too, okay? So today, I will be answering the question, what do you do while you wait? Our scripture reading is from the book of Acts, chapter 1, verses 1 to 13. The story talks about Jesus showing himself, revealing himself to people for 40 days after his resurrection. One particular time that Jesus spoke to them, he asked his disciples to wait, wait in Jerusalem. He asked them to wait until they were baptized with the Holy Spirit. So they are waited about 120 men. So one thing is important, however, they all didn't just hang out, chat away in the name of waiting. They did three things while they waited. While waiting on God, you can pray. We see that in Acts chapter 1 verse 14. I mean, they could have said, why do we have to pray? Jesus already promised us the Holy Spirit, but they didn't. Instead, they prayed. They were sure that the promise was going to come and they still prayed. So while waiting on God, you have to pray. It's not a time to sleep. It's not a time to be tired, to be weary. It's a time to fervently pray. Bible says pray without ceasing. This also includes the time when you wait. Sometimes we're tempted to just bring a subject to God once. But God wants us to pray persistently. He honors our persistence. Prayers. In Acts 1, 16 to 20, we see that while you're waiting, you have to study the word of God. Imagine that at this time, the apostles were still very confused. Imagine how they felt about what Judas had just done. But reading the word of God would bring to their remembrance what they had been foretold about Jesus' death and resurrection. The scripture would have told them how to act. Sometimes we seem to have many more questions than answer in life, but indeed the word of God has all the answers to the questions that are on your mind. So during your challenging days, while you wait on God, it is important that you dig deep into the Bible. We as Christians must continue to study the Bible individually and together. I have a group of people we read the Bible together. When, I, when I'm alone, I read the Bible. You get insights from the Word of God. That keeps you waiting. I had to wait for a particular subject, uh, prayer point to be answered. It took four years. But all I needed to affirm my values in Christ was found in the Word of God. The third thing to do while you're waiting is found in the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 21 to 26. Yes. <laughs> Work. Because of Jesus' betrayal and suicide, Jesus' apostles were one man short. The apostles had to cast 
lots to decide which one of the two would be joining them. Matthias was chosen. So they continued to take care of business. As usual, when Jesus Christ left, they had no excuses. They chose actions. They chose actions. They acted, you know, while they were waiting for Jesus. They worked. There was business to be done. And so they continued doing that. So if you find yourself in the waiting room, <laughs> as I usually call it, the waiting room, if you find yourself waiting, don't forget, you have to pray. You have to Study the word of God and you have to continue to be active doing the work of God. The waiting room is not a place to lounge or sleep or whatever. Make sure you're active. Pray, study, and act. Thank you so much for joining me again. I am Peace George, your delivery man today. I pray in the name of Jesus that the entrance of this word will bring light and understanding to you in the name of Jesus. And to everyone waiting, I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will answer your prayers and give you that strength to wait upon him in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. It's bye for now.